Hello everyone and welcome back to System Shock 2. I have updated to Windows 10, so hopefully there won't be any problems. Uh, <laughs> I did a little... I uh, thought I heard some. I did a little testing earlier um, and didn't... everything seemed to record fine, so we're just gonna assume that everything's fine, no problems, and push forward. So, um... I should apologize again for my lack of content. Did I search these already? I think I did. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on these past few weeks. I've been away at camp. I was away at camp all last week. I wanted to record um, for that and release some stuff. Time release some stuff, but I was not able to. Um, so that kind of sucked. But... But we're here now, so hopefully we can get back on track. I'm going to be leaving for another camp uh, soon, actually. In a few. Um, here in a, in a couple weeks. Uh, if I can get. If I can get some stuff squared away. For that time, that would be preferable. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim to do that. But we shall see what happens. If you don't hear from me for a week, then, uh, then you'll know I didn't get that squared away. And that'll, uh, that'll just have to be that. Uh, all right. So there is a robot through this door. Or er, might be through the next door. There is a turret through that door. I do know that. Sure. I'm going to. That's a weird sound. Hmm. Um. Do I have the... I don't have the code for this yet, do I? No. That's the armory. Alright, we won't worry about that now. But, um. I'm gonna try to hack... Crap. Security. So I can take that turret out of the picture. There we go. Security system offline. Okay, good. Alright, so the robot's the next door. Ooh. Unit E439 compromised. Yeah, this is something you don't really see much. Turrets that are already destroyed. It's kind of an interesting thing. Alright, so we're going to take on this robot here and die horribly, but that's okay. Actually, didn't die horribly. Wow. This is Xerxes. At Earth 200, there will be a poetry reading by Protocol Unit 3892-2 in the Deck 5 Commons area. Perfect. Please bring any authorized material that you wish to be read by 3892-2. Oh, hey. Ah! I do not remember that. Um... Oh shoot, there's a monkey there. <laughs> I have a poem they could read. Why are you chasing me? Oh crap. Uh, back up. Alright, this is kind of a weird situation. Things are chasing me that shouldn't be. Like this guy. Worked out for me though. You perform well for an exact Oh well thank you. Transmitting cyber modules. How did you die? Did I kill you? I don't even remember killing him. I thought I remembered him I thought he was still alive. Um Hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I've got a poem that can read. It's about spiders. I had an interesting uh, Facebook discussion. Well, I, I didn't really have a discussion. I kind of 
I kind of came in at the end of it, so I had a monologue um, <laughs> about uh, there was this poem about spiders, and I don't remember who wrote it, but um, basically it was about security system online. Yeah, basically, uh, the author wrote about finding spider, or, or seeing a spider like crawl across a book that she picked up and she squished it because she got scared. And then um, her point This is new. That's new. Huh. Um her 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 basic point we will come back to this room earlier we can't get in here this is ops override we will we will be back here uh, in the future uh, anyway her point her point her her main thing was um, that she shouldn't she's she's not she shouldn't kill things just because she's afraid of them that was her that was the main idea there um, behind it and apparently a lot of that's broken too that's different interesting apparently a lot of people took that and ran with it um, they um, it, it, it was it was taken and used as a parallel to the black lives or to the um, To, to the shootings that have been going on in the United States. Um, you know, regarding... Ah! Regarding black people being uh, in... in uh, being killed and uh, some people viewing it as, as an unjust... an unjust, rather. Uh, unjust killings. Um, I'm not going to debate here whether they were unjust or not, but um, anyway, that that a lot of people were applying that poem and its message to that situ whoop. to that what the frick okay to that situation that is freaking creepy. Um. A lot, of, uh, a lot of people were applying that poem, using it metaphorically to, to talk about, to refer to that, that uh, those circumstances. And the discussion on Facebook was about whether the poem was meant to be taken metaphorically at all, or whether it was to be meant to be taken literally as talking about like not killing spiders, um, and whether not just that, but but also about whether. Oh yeah, this thing happens. By the way, you walk in here, and these guys spawn, and how? Um, and then the bars close in on you. You can't reach the button. But you can smash the glass and smash the box. If if I can get to it, there we go. And the bars go away. Um. But but anyway. Hi there. Good grief. Anyway, um. It, it was it was a, you know the question was whether it should be taken literally. Um. And whether you could take it both literally and metaphorically, um, and, and things like that. Um, yeah, so anyway. My part in the discussion, Q, 
came um, came around to sc about uh, when after after the discussion actually ended. <laughs> That's when I found the whole thing, and I read through it and thought about it for a bit, and I chimed in with a few observations of my own about the culture that we're in today and how people will. Um, often anymore, people will take things and assimilate them uh, through their own uh, lenses, whether they're meant to or not. Um, and about about the knee-jerk reaction of our of our culture and the myopic uh, worldview that we tend to tend to bury ourselves in nowadays. But uh, anyway, not going to go into all that now. Really, I wrote like the one of the longest things I've ever written since I was since I've been out of college um, about that so we're not going to go into it because it was it was long and it was emotional too because yeah there, there's some of my pet peeves strongly in there but anyway game focusing back on the game because um, <laughs> we're about to we're about to hit some heavy stuff so obviously something went down here this is linear simulation which I believe Yes, is what I just got, but we're gonna check this stuff out first. So we got a lot of corpses, not a lot of stuff going on, but there is Diego log here. Ooh, 40 nanites. Sweet. So there's a Diego log. We'll listen to that one first. You listen to me, you little bitch. Either you disband that little toy army of yours, or some real military is gonna come down there and walk all over your red cops. You can't possibly understand what our mission is here in the glory of our purpose. If you do what we say, you might have a chance to see the glory of a many. Comply or die, sister. It's that simple. Yes, thank you, Diego. So, obviously at this point, um, Bronson and Diego were, were at a, <laughs> at a strained, strained part of their relationship. And then here we have our last message, or well, the last message that Bronson left while she was still alive. They've killed my men, and now they've killed me. I'm holding my guts inside of me with both hands. I'm almost done. Resist. This is bigger than my little life. The lives of my men. And the lives of the people I was forced to kill. Resist. Humanity demands it. Resist. And thus ends the story of Bronson. So, the one person who, <laughs> crazy as she was, she was actually, uh, she actually did do quite a bit of good, um, but unfortunately, she did not survive. This is Xerxes, primary data loop infiltrated, primary data loop infiltrated. I'm pretty sure, yep, yeah, there we go. You have, you, you, you have accomplished much for a thing of such small consequence. Now proceed to the recreation deck. Do not dawdle. I lust for my revenge. I'm sure, I'm sure you do. But I forgot that uh, I need to go down here because there's stuff down here. So there's a med bed, incomplete. Uh, we're, we're not gonna worry about that. Aha! These, these are the work piles. We... Thank you, Dor, for completely screwing me over there. There we go. Okay. So, gather up these worm piles. Yeah, I get rather impassioned when talking oops, when talking about things like uh, things like our current culture. Um, mostly because I find 
a lot of our current culture to be fairly intolerable. Um, again, I'm not gonna really go into the details, but people are just stupid <laughs> sometimes. I can be too. I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not completely taking myself out of the picture, but I mean, I, I do some pretty dumb things myself. Um, it just seems to happen a lot lately. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and just noticing it more, uh, because my priorities have changed, or if people really are just acting dumber than they used to. I, I don't really know. Let me get some chips in here. Yeah, some of this stuff has been added. Like this stuff wasn't in here before. I don't. I don't think. I don't remember. I don't think. Um. All right. I got logged too, didn't I? Yeah. I've authorized a change in the access ah. code for the auxiliary weapons lockup in the crew quarters of Med Sci Deck to nine eight three eight three. I won't have my own gear used against my men. There's no oh. such thing as too cautious. Yep. Definitely didn't hear him coming. Oh, frick. Spiders. No, I want the thing underneath him, which is a side booster. But you have to research it in order for it to actually do any good. There we go. Um, but I'm probably... Oh, I was already researching it. Oh, how about that? I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Where are you? Are you upstairs? Oh, you're upstairs. Hi there. Um, probably not going to worry too much about it, I guess. The thing is, I can't recycle it until I research it, right? Oh, no, I can. Oh. Well, screw that, then. I have to research if I don't have to. Um, this way. No, this way. Which way is the right way? Okay, so, so yeah, I can, uh, the code I just, oh yeah, that's right, that was already, the code I just got was for the, um, armory that we found way back on deck two, so I can go and grab the stuff out of that that I want, you know what, screw that, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna, cause, like, I could stand here and, and get eaten by, you know, yeah, see, I'm not gonna stand in, in the Vulcan from hell and try to upgrade myself. Do that back on Medside where it's a lot safer. Alright, anything trying to kill me? No? Good. Hop back in the elevator. Oh, grab this stuff. Hop in the elevator. And of course, you know. Shodan said not to dawdle, but screw you, Shodan. I got stuff to do. Alright, so first of all, the armory. First of all, I have to. <laughs> I have to remember where the armory is. Um. It's. This way? I think. No, wait. That's oh, in the other section. Yes, I think. I have. Wow. I think it's. Section. 
Yes. Shut up. Yeah, it's over here. Wait. Yes, right here. King nine eight three eight three. Yeah, buddy. Got some booze over by the weapons. That makes perfect sense. The guy was like, "I'm just gonna wait here until until it's safe." Got some batteries. Got some med uh, med uh, kits. Bullets. So we got some EMP. We got a, a lot of uh, EMP stuff. Stasis field generator. Assault rifle, which I still don't think we can use. No, we need a standard of six. Um, but I'm gonna hang on to it though. Powered. Ar oh no, this is standard armor. Yeah, I thought I thought there was powered armor in here. I could have sworn there was a suit of powered armor in here. Remembering wrong, I guess. Oh hey, a log I missed. Turnbull. Security system. God damn Bronson and her stupid procedures. She's changed the code on the med side to subarmory again. Now I've got to head back up to deck four to find out what it is. Somebody's gonna frag her, but good someday. Huh, I missed that one. Oh, there's another one. If hey. We can. Reprogram the SIM units and divert power to the transmitter on deck 5. My new friend will be able to regain control of the primary data loop from Xerxes. She, uh, it, says that will let us use the bridge elevator and take control of the ship. So at least Shodan wasn't, you know, leading us on. That is, that's, she gave the same plan to Delacroix that she gave to us. So Delacroix, Delacroix was actually acting under Shodan's orders before uh, before you even came ever came back online. Oh wow, there's more. Don't stop, Hi. Omega. Keep moving. Get to the escape pods on the command deck. We'll take off, set the Toaster to wake us up in 30 years, and we'll be back on Earth before you know. A Toaster built for two, baby. That's our next stop. Sound good? So let's do it. I won't take any excuses. I apologize. I've apparently been missing logs, picking up and not listening to them. Oh, good grief. Something is taking over this ship. The sim units on this deck are being diverted for reasons unknown. I know it's somehow connected to the larger picture and whatever is happening since they landed on Tau Ceti. My men look at me like I'm crazy, but it is my responsibility to safeguard this ship and its crew. Screw Anatoly, screw Diego, and screw whatever poisonous influence has desecrated this vessel. I will not abandon my post or my charge. She's, uh, yeah. Again, you say what you like about her. Definitely crazy, but, um, in a way, but she's got a, a, a uh, steady sense of, of uh, responsibility, duty, that kept her moving forward. Okay, that's it. Sweet. Sorry I missed all those. I don't... I do not know what I was thinking. Alright, so I'm going to take a minute here before we leave and um, recycle all this crap for nanites. So uh, give me a second and we'll pick up after this. Alright, we're back. Um, I went ahead and upgraded my endurance and my cybernetic affinity. Um, endurance, obviously, for the hit points and cyber affinity so I can do uh, do a lot better at uh, at hacking than I have been. Uh, with some of this stuff. Um, also, you'll notice I have a thousand nanites, even, which is kind of awesome. And I thought I heard something again. Um, so I have a thousand nanites, even, and um, from recycling all that crap, and um, and nothing. That was it. I think. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I definitely heard something that time. Yep. There you are. Ow! Stop it. Um, oh, the other thing was, 
we're out of time. That's what it was. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And uh, when we come back, we will chug on over to deck five and... and see what we can do there. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, bye.